So while I was at 7-Eleven, I also grabbed these two desserts. Uh, one is tofu pudding, and this one is grass jelly. They're actually meant to be eaten hot, but I don't have a microwave, and I didn't want to warm it up downstairs because I was too lazy. So usually they come cold as well, so I'm just going to wing it. Hopefully, it's still good. <laughs> so normally, you can find grass jelly and tofu pudding in night markets or in some restaurants where they specialize in this kind of dessert. And they usually come in both hot and cold. So hopefully, this is edible. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the tofu pudding. It comes with a spoon and this is the syrup you put on top is brown sugar syrup and here is what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and open it And now I'm going to pour the brown sugar syrup on top. Hopefully it's still good even though it's not hot, but you can kind of see the texture. It's literally just tofu, like very soft tofu. And then with the brown sugar syrup, it just makes it amazing. I don't know how to explain it. This is probably kind of weird to people who maybe don't live in Asia. But this is pretty common here in Taiwan and also in Hong Kong and probably other places I'm unaware of. Mm. Okay, it's still good cold. Actually, it's a little bit like closer to room temperature because I kind of left it out for a while. I forgot to put it in the fridge, but still very good. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically it's just tofu, but the tofu flavor is not that strong. It's very soft tofu, and then the brown sugar sauce or syrup on top is just like kind of like roasted brown sugar, and it's more liquidy than syrupy. But yeah, it goes very well with the tofu. At the night markets, usually they have toppings. Uh, on top of the tofu, they'll put like red bean, green bean, peanuts. All the ingredients are like boiled and soft and sometimes cooked in some sugar syrup. So it's all very sweet. But in this convenience store version, there's only the syrup. So it's still very good. Mm. This costs 35 Taiwan dollars, which is about a dollar fifteen US. If you buy it at the night market, the one that I usually go to here in Kaohsiung at Liu He Night Market, for a small bowl, which is a bit bigger than this, I guess it would. It's also thirty-five Taiwan dollars, but it comes with all of the toppings on top. I think this would also be good hot. Usually, when I have it. At the night market, I buy it hot because it is uh, cooler seasons here right now. But cold is very refreshing and recommended for the summer months. So this is a great low calorie dessert. In this container, there is 300 grams of the tofu and the brown sugar syrup. In total, there is 168 calories, 6.6 .6 grams of protein. 4 grams of fat, 20.4 grams of carbs, 19.8 grams of sugar, and 16 milligrams of iron. This is one of my favorite things to eat here in Taiwan. So I'm done with the tofu pudding for now, and I'm really curious to try the grass jelly. The tofu one was okay to be eaten cold, even though it's meant to be hot. So let's see if this one is also 
good to be in court. So the grass jelly one looks like this. There is a spoon. And coffee creamer. Interesting. And so the grass jelly just looks like this. So I just searched up grass jelly on Google and it says grass jelly or leaf jelly or herb jelly is a jelly-like dessert eaten in East Asia. It is created by using the platostoma palustre plant and has a mild, slightly bitter taste. It's served chilled with other toppings such as fruit or in bubble tea or other drinks. Outside Asia, it is sold in Asian supermarkets. Okay, this is not totally true because here in Taiwan, sometimes they have, it's called shao xian cao. Shao is kind of like roasted or hot. So hot grass jelly, which is also really good. It's kind of like the tofu pudding. You can eat it hot or cold. And then they put a bunch of toppings on top. It's really good as well. So today we're having it. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's almost room temperature. I should have put it in the fridge, but I'm okay with this. So this is what it looks like, like jelly or jello. I'm gonna put this creamer on. I am slightly lactose, so I am doing this for you guys. <laughs> Wish me luck later. Let me show you the texture real quick. So it's just like very thick jelly. Yeah. Wow, it's really good, especially with the creamer. Actually, I've never had it with the creamer. I don't think. Hmm. So grass jelly is actually made from an herb that's related to mint and the taste of it is like a mild herbal taste except in this one the grass jelly already has some sugar in it so it's a little bit sweet. When you add the creamer to it, it mixes with the grass jelly and it's liquid a little bit so it kind of is like milk tea flavored. So if you don't know, bubble tea actually originated from Taiwan and when I drink boba, I usually get it with grass jelly instead of tapioca. So, so just that little bit of creamer actually makes it taste just like bubble tea. I might buy this more often. This was also 35 Taiwan dollars, which is a dollar fifteen at Seven Eleven. So this is also pretty low calorie. In this container, there is two hundred fifty grams of the grass jelly and the creamer. I assume that that is included. So in total, there is one hundred and thirty three calories. There is only zero point two grams of protein. Uh, there is two point two grams of fat. Twenty eight grams of carbs. 26 grams of sugar and 160 milligrams of iron so there is quite a large sugar content in this but there is little of everything else because it is just made from water and extract from the plant and also some sugar I think the creamer is included because there is 2.2 grams of fat so that's probably from the dairy but overall it's still pretty low calories there is 250 grams so it's quite a lot of food I would recommend this it is kind of weird because it has like an herbal taste but I really like it and people all over Asia really like it so I think it's worth a try okay that is everything I have for today Thank you for joining me today in trying the self-heating hot pot and some Taiwanese desserts. I would recommend everything that I've tried today. You can find it all at the 7-Eleven or maybe even at Family Mart. 
Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye!